person goes out to a bar and sees a band play from nine to one or whatever, they don't see the time that they drove there, set the gear up, they're gonna have to break down afterwards, drive home, try to get a little sleep, go to work, get up, go do it again somewhere else, rehearsal time. I mean, they don't see all that kind of stuff. They just see that couple of hours that you're up on the stage and think, ooh, that looks like fun. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of hard work. So somebody that can hold down a day job and go play two, three nights a week on the side, I respect the hell out of that. You know, he would come home high off of the gig where all the, the girls adored him and the, the other uh, musicians thought he was a great player or whatever. And then he would come home to me and I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not proud of it, but I wasn't always feeling it. Where I feel like sometimes I'm the cracks or the, the little spaces between the other things in his life. He kind of tries to fill with know our time together and it's not for me it, it's not very fulfilling I think my family was overwhelmed at my deep crazy insane desire to study and become a music guy I think they weren't ready for that and then most of my friends weren't either Everything else in my life that I do, anybody can do. And the one thing that people have ever said to me was, I wish I could do that. And when that's the one thing you got, that sticks.